I cannot imagine myself being mentally controlled and absolutely restrained, absolutely anyway. After losing 28 years of life and with a health, as I have found myself in, I possibly cannot imagine that I would have to owe somebody, some religious institution, somebody who would have certain expectations from me, which, as I stated, in actuality, nothing, rather, rather would, rather are pushing me away from where I want to be when I touch the subject of religion. I, I want my soul to flow freely so that I can be close to him, the one who brought me to this world. It's a very, very important issue. I don't think he would like me to uh, restrain myself I think he would hate me, really. Seeing you guys going through all this with you uh, and just doubt about myself. Like you want to put, like you want to make women to doubt about their right to have abortion. Uh, I just see this um, uh, this possessive attitude, this 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 idea to to force down the people's throat something that uh, it was just not meant to be for anyone to enforce issues as such. It's 2023. It's year 2023. We have gone through several stages of this human development change that took place over the course of that time. Uh, and that if we would just go now, I'm not going to say even backwards, ignoring everything that we learned um, it's for me personally, it's it's anybody. It would be just too much to ask for. To to put it plain and simple, I I I do not consent in any uh, anything like this. I totally refuse uh, to become a servant, to become a slave to become enslaved by some kind of institution like this. Um, you basically misused. You created this torture. Not only you contributed. You gave a false hope. You are a false prophet, sir. God is going to curse you. You created this sin. You go to your Bible if you ask yourself, you talk to yourself, you're a sinner. You and your other popes, you're sinners. What you created, you're going to burn in hell for what you did. According to your own principles, according to what you preach. So when I consider these issues, Nothing in this world can compare to from what I have gone through the hell. And George Bush once stated, 
he used what they laughed at him afterwards. You walked in the shadow of death. I did. I did walk in the shadow of death. I did. Those who know my case, they knew that I was the one who was walking in the shadow of death. Way too many times I didn't know if I'm going to emerge alive from this shadow of death known as MK Ultra. Next to killers, next to drug dealers, next to murderers, next to dictators, crazy people, insane worlds. I somehow managed to emerge, but it was really, really not because of British royals or because of American government who didn't give a three fuck about me and even less because of the Vatican for every situation I have found myself in I never was alone there was somebody with me still there was that somebody that somehow did not abandon me. It was really, really bad to see so many evil people, so much evil. Financially, voraciously, or financially voracious, needy, greedy, just like yourself. It doesn't have to be money. It can be megalomania. It can be something, it can be, it can be, it's, it's completely indifferent to reach out for something that is not yours. So just, you grab it so it can be yours. And you take it away from what God seeded to earth according to his image. So that your lords in London and in Washington DC and in Berlin can be satisfied even. Imprison, murder. If I would have done something like this, if I would not condemn you even, it would be a curse. It would be insult to him who always was with me everywhere, including when you had me in your hands. And I think it would be taking away hope from humanity because I am the one you have never managed to kill the hope all of you together all you Illuminatis everything you did all your money everything that you exercised that you corrupt so many people that you demonstrated me what you could with how control of you the power that you have that you can handle all of this the evil that you possess the strength or what you can do to a person, to a small person. Within 28 years, you still did not, all, all together, all of you together, still did not manage to kill my hope. And that's what this case is all about. When you take hope, when you kill hope, that's when you kill the person. That's when you kill the person. You did not kill the hope. You didn't get anywhere near. And look at you today. I had a reason. I should say, I reasoned you who and what you are, where you belong. Based on your qualities you possess, based on who you are, I have qualified you. So that's all I wanted to say. 
there is hope for humanity. Humanity is raising up and humanity has got to raise up to its expectations. It's got to raise up to what one was designated for. Hope. That's all I wanted to say in this video. That's that be this part number two. Because to me, this is hell important to stress. <clears throat> part number two pertaining to Vatican issues. Why I am completely rejecting, refusing. Why I am disgusted to see myself in a Vatican. What kind of impact is that going to have on you anyways? Seriously, somebody that supported you that have literally gone to hell, not once. I got no so many times. So that you could be promoted, so that you could be seen as something worthy in at the end had an honor to expose you.